क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन से इज एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव ट्रेवल्स अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स ऑफ स्पेस एंड टाइम वेरिंग फील्ड वुड जनरेट सच अ वेव डियर स्टूडेंट्स द डायरेक्शन इन विच द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव ट्रेवल्स कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम द डायरेक्शन ऑफ ई क्रॉस बी नॉट डियर स्टूडेंट्स सिंस द वेव इज ट्रेवलिंग अलॉन्ग पॉजिटिव एक्स डायरेक्शन द सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज ऑफ ई एन बी फॉर विच ई क्रॉस बी इज अलॉन्ग आई कैप विल बी अर करेक्ट आंसर we can see in option number 1 that the magnetic field is along z direction and electric field is along y direction therefore ey cross bz will be along the direction of j cap cross k cap which has a direction of i cap and hence option number 1 is therefore our correct answer dear students let us proceed to the question number 42 of the test question number 42 says a pulse of light of duration 6 nanoseconds is absorbed completely by a small object initially at rest power of a pulse is 20 milli watt and speed of light is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meters per second the momentum transferred by the light is now dear students the momentum transferred can be calculated using the formula p multiplied by t divided by c where p is the power t is the time and c is the speed here power is given to be equal to 20 into 10 raised to power minus 3 watt that is 20 milliwatt time is given to be equal to 6 nanoseconds that is 6 into 10 raised to power minus 9 and speed of light c is given to be equal to 3 into 10 raised to power 8 dear students on solving this expression we can get delta p to be equal to 4 into 10 raised to power minus 19 kg meters per second therefore the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 2 now dear students let us proceed to the next question which is question number 43 question number 43 says in the em wave the amplitude of magnetic field intensity h not and amplitude of electric field e not at a point in space are related as now dear students for an electromagnetic wave e not by b not is equal to c that is speed of the wave also b not can be written to be equal to mu not into h not therefore e not divided by mu not h not is equal to c now dear students c can be written to be equal to under root of mu not epsilon not reciprocal of that on substituting the value we get that e not by mu not h not is equal to 1 by under root mu not epsilon not which means that e not is equal to h not under root of mu not by epsilon not therefore dear students the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 2 now let us proceed and solve the question number 44 question number 44 says two circular plates of radius 0.2 meters are used to form a parallel plate capacitor if displacement current between the plates is pi ampere then the magnetic field produced by displacement current at 0.1 meter from the axis of the plate will be now dear students we can write down the ampere's law that b dot dl closed integral of this would be equal to mu not into i here i has been given to us to be equal to pi ampere but we have to find out the current that is enclosed within 0.1 meter radius only because pi ampere is in 0.2 meter radius we use the simple unitary method to find out the enclosed current in the radius of 0.1 meter now therefore the right hand side becomes mu not pi by 4 dear students the value of b dot dl integral would be equal to b multiplied by 2 pi r where r is 0.1 on equating this with the right hand side of the above equation we can see that the pi gets cancelled out and b turns out to be equal to mu not divided by 0.8 or 5 mu not by 4 now dear students mu not 
is equal to 4 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7. On substituting this value, we get b to be equal to 5 pi into 10 raised to power minus 7 tesla. And hence the option number 1 for this particular question should be our correct answer. Now let us proceed to the last question of the test which is question number 45. Question number 45 says if potential difference between the plates of a capacitor changes at a rate of dv by dt is equal to 10 raised to power 4 volt per second and capacitance is 2 microfarad then the displacement current between the plates will be. Now dear students we can write down the charge on the capacitor to be equal to Cv. The displacement current in the case of charging of capacitor is equal to the conduction current. Therefore, displacement current is equal to dq by dt which we can write as c multiplied by dv by dt because c is a constant. Here in dv by dt is given to be equal to 10 raised to power 4 and c is given to be equal to 2 microfarad. On substituting the values we get 2 into 10 raised to power minus 6 into 10 raised to power 4 that will be equal to 2 into 10 raised to power minus 2 or 20 milli amperes and hence dear students option number 3 for this particular question is the correct answer. Dear students this concludes the discussion on the quick solutions of this test. I hope you understood all the solutions. I wish you all the best for your futures and God bless you all. Thank you.